Shay Wolfpack and Combine Academy. Brett Gall alongside Rachel Queen. And Rachel, what are you looking forward to for this matchup? I'm looking to see uh, an exciting game from the Wolfpack. Uh, I've heard they've done well all season, so I wouldn't expect anything less. You know, good passes, nice shots, all that good stuff. Your Wolfpack in the black. <laughs> and Combine Academy in the white. And we're about to begin tip off here in a second. Number 25, Carlson, tipping off for Wolfpack. And 31, the Mia Scott for Combine Academy. And Combine Academy starts with the ball. Good ball movement here, real quick. Anderson drives. Anderson still with the ball right now. Off to number 14, Hugh Harvey. Harvey controls the ball. Out to number one, Z Williams with an air ball. Combine had some really good passes there. They just, I think they pulled the trigger a little too early on that shot. Z Williams with the ball once again. She drives and scoops it up for the first two points of the match. 21, Sam Olsen trying to get it to Carlson, but she cannot. Z Williams drives again. She is fouled. Taking to the hoop. It's going to be on the floor foul. So we'll be taking it out of bounds here. A couple already careless mistakes here by the Wolfpack. A couple of turnovers. Mm -hmm. Some bad passes there. Not, not, not making smart decisions. Good move by Scott, but she can't get it to go. Z Williams with the pump fake drives. Up and under, just no good. It's going to be a Wolfpack ball off of Anderson. Linear to inbounds. Olsen, Sam Olsen will bring up the ball for the Wolfpack. Carlson back to Olsen. Carlson for three. That's good. She banks it off. 3 2 Wolfpack. Combine. Looks like we have a foul. Gonna be on Scott. This was the offensive foul, I guess. Olsen to bring up the ball again for the Wolfpack. Does the Carlson at the top of the E. Lanier back down to Olsen. The ball movement here for the Wolfpack. Almost a steal by Academy. For 15, Courtney Hegler with the ball right now. Passes back off to Olsen. No shot clock here, of course, for club basketball. Trip and no foul there. Combine looking to push. Z Williams with the shot too short. Lavella bringing out the ball. Passes to Olsen. Going to be off of Academy. Stay, with, stay down here with the Wolfpack. Also, just for you viewers, it's going to be two 20-minute halves. Running clock and still, until the two-minute mark. Then we will start stopping the clock. Olsen with the ball at the top of the key. Back to Lavella. Lavella trying to go through. Stolen by Z Williams. Williams to drive. Uses a good body. Can't get it to go up. Wolfpack looking to push. Olsen with the ball. Crosses over. Stolen once again by the Wolfpack. And we're going to have a foul. Couple costly mistakes here by the Wolfpack earlier. A lot of bad passes, which has led to a lot of turnovers here. Oh yeah, Combine's doing an excellent uh, job at 
playing defense against the Wolfpack. They've stolen several balls. They just haven't been able to capitalize on those opportunities and make a shot. Academy is actually down on point right now, 3-2. to two. As looks like they're going to bring in a whole bunch of subs here in a second. Williams looks in a drive, passes off to Anderson. Harvey out wide to full love, and her shot is an air ball. Anderson fine with the ball. It's going to be Hegler with the ball. Wadsworth, Wadsworth now into the game for the Wolfpack. A white to Lanier. Carlson drives, floater, she's fouled. She'll get two shots, free throw line. She's been the bright spot here so far in the early going with a three and she's drove a couple. She'll get rewarded at the free throw strike. Her first one is up and too strong. One more to come. Everybody exiting the game for Combine Academy except for Williams, who will stay put. One more here, and that one rattles through. And Carlson will exit the game as number 23, Jenna Toy, comes into the ball game. Williams to bring up the ball for Combine. Ashley German passes off to number four, Michelle Thomas. Good defense here by the Wolfpack. Thomas now with the ball. Passes to Williams. Good move there by Alex Stevens for a quick two. Four to three. Now. Academy with a lead. 13 15 left to go here in the first half. Hegler off to Chloe Wall. Wall with a shot. Too strong. It's going to be off of Academy, though. It's going to stay down there at the other end. Wolfpack's ball. I think the one thing that's hurting the Wolfpack on offense is they're not moving around like Combine is. Combine's passing the ball. They're, you know, running their screenplays and all of that, and the Wolfpack's just not really moving that much right now. Hopefully they'll do that in the second half or later on in this. I would have to agree. A lot of stagnant play. More one-on-one -on -one is unlike Academy is moving the ball around, as you just mentioned. Going to have a foul there on the Academy. Going to be a shooting foul as Lavella will head to the charity strike. June 2. First one is up in the swish. One more to come here for a Lavella as Olsen comes in back into the game. Hegler will take a rest. Second one is good and true for Lavella. D. Wongs will get her first rest of the game. As it looks like. Hugh Harvey will be the point guard here for Combine Academy. Harvey down to, down to Stevens. Can't quite get it to go. Rebound Lanier. Lanier has Olsen to the wide. She goes to her. There's the good ball move that you mentioned that they needed. And that three by number 12, Wadsworth. Sounds like they were listening to you there. I mean, when you move around and move the ball, good things happen. They definitely did right there. Nine to four for the Wolfpack. Down to Stevens, stolen by Wadsworth. Going by herself, she's blocked but fouled by Combine Academy's Crystal Davis. Or Krista Davis, excuse me. She'll be shooting two again.
first one strong. Number 22, Caroline Moody, going to come in for Lanier. A lot of substitutions for both teams here in the early going. Yeah, it was kind of interesting to see the Combine Academy bring all their players out and switch them with everyone on the bench. I mean, good strategy. You keep fresh legs out on the court at all times, but, you know, sometimes when you sit down, you get a little cold, too. Yeah. Davis going down to Stevens. Stevens, good defense by Rabella. Thomas almost got stolen. Back up to Harvey. Grimmel with the ball. Davis for three. That's wide, right? Rebound by LaBella. LaBella's going to take it all the way. Actually, she's going to go down to Wall, and Wall is fouled. That seems to be the Wolfpack's motivation right now is to try to get fouled, and it's working so far. Got to hit all their free throws, though. Yeah, they've made every one except for two or three. I think that's what's keeping them in this game so far. That one's true for Wall. There goes the platoon right there. Kind of like what Kentucky did last year for men's basketball. Brought everybody in and everybody out. Let's see what Combine Academy is going to do here today. And then the, the only reason I don't necessarily like that is if you have a hot player going on and then they're gonna, you're going to take them out. And I don't necessarily agree with that, but... Oh, yeah. I mean, why would you want to take one of your players who's on every shot and have them sit down and cool off, and then they go back in the next exactly. time, and they're missing everything? Exactly. Z. Williams there with a the shot for Combine Academy, 12-6. to 6. Almost a steal there. Actually, they're going to say it's a steal. And Scott goes up and can't get it in. Three wolf pack there for the rebound. Shot well. Back to Lavella. Shot well for three. And that's good. Emily Shotwell comes right into the game and produces points right away. 15 to 6, Wolfpack. Three for Thomas is good. She answers with the three of her own. Olsen thought about it. As did Lavella. Stolen by. Combine Academy, Williams to Scott, too far ahead of her. Turnover, Wolfpack trying to push as well. Lavella gets it stolen, and Scott's right up here by herself. Gets the, can't get the two to go. Trying to go and finally gets it up again. 15 to nine, Wolfpack, or 15 to 11, excuse me. Scott thought she got fouled there, but nothing was called. Wall for three. That one's good as well. Three's raining here in Carmichael State Gymnasium. Williams thought about it. Drives. Good defense by Olsen as she pokes it out. We're going to have five more come in for the Wolfpack. Williams to inbound the ball for Academy. Scott trying to go. Thought she was fouled. She's not very happy with the referees right now. Scott thought about it. Tries to go pull up and almost rims in. She'll shoot two here. Definitely led in the play here in the early going. His first one is up and it's good. One more to come for Williams. Second one is true. Now it's 18 to 13. 
NC State still with the lead, almost a steal there by Thomas. Good defense. We're gonna have a foul on Thomas. Too much reaching in. Wadsworth. One that got fouled, she'll bring up the ball. Carlson, back to Wadsworth for three. No good. Rebound full of. Academy looking to push here real quick. Dworth to Scott. Scott pumps fakes, drives. And it's going to be a jump ball. Possession area goes to the Wolfpack. 40 45 to go here in the first half. 18 to 13. NC State over Combine Academy. Brett Gall alongside Rachel Queen. We've seen a good basketball game so far. It's going to be a turnover by the Wolfpack. Scott with the ball. Up to Williams. Williams drives and one for Williams. It's going to be 18 to 15 with three point play. Chance here. Cut the lead to two. Free throw is up and rattles in and out. Remains 18 to 15. Carlson to bring up the ball for the Wolfpack. Down to Carlson again. That one is in and out. Rebound Scott. Scott looking to push. And she gets the easy two. Nobody from State even got in her way. And it's 18 to 17 all of a sudden. Academy with a little bit of momentum here. Leaner with the ball. Out to Wadsworth. It's gonna be, I think NC State wants a timeout here. And Probably a good idea considering that Academy looks like they're going a little on the run. Oh yeah, they're they're keeping this pace upbeat and the Wolfpack just can't seem to hang with them. You know, the Academy's defense is strong against the Wolfpack's offense and that's shown true in the score right now. They, the Academy has come back from a 10 point deficit or so. something like that. And uh, the Wolfpack isn't doing what they did earlier in the game, and that's driving into the free throw line. Mm -hmm. That's where they've got a majority of their points from is at the charity strike. And that has not happened here in the last few minutes, which has led to the run by Academy. Mm -hmm. Both teams exit their huddles, and we have Lanier inbound the ball to Wadsworth. Three twenty to go here in the ball game. Trying to go pick and roll there and stolen by Anderson. Williams, full of love, full of dries and is fouled. Academy kind of doing a little bit of what NC State did in the first. 10 minutes driving and getting fouled. Now, Full Love has a chance to give Academy a one point lead and take their first lead since the beginning. And as I say, that first one for Full Love is no good. We'll get one more to try to tie the game up. It's a great strategy to have to, you know, just run down in the paint and get fouled, but it only works if you can make your free throws. Second one is good. We have two substitutions coming in. Stevens coming back into the game, as well as Davis. Anderson and Scott will exit for Academy. Wadsworth bringing up the ball still for the Wolfpack. Passes it off to Hegler. Hegler for Lavelle is no good. Hegler there for the rebound. Can't quite get it to go. 154 left to go here, and since we're under two minutes, the clock will now stop when there's a whistle.
Williams giving command. It looks like they're going to run a play here. Down to Stevens. Steven, nice give and go there to Williams. And that's a good two right there. Academy now with a two-point lead, 20 to 18, minute 35 to go here in the first half. Hegler trying to go down low, and that's going to be a turnover by the Wolfpack as it went over the head of Wadsworth. Academy with a good chance to extend their lead here. Williams for three. That's good. Three-point shot by Z Williams gets the Academy 23-18 lead. She's really considered herself here in the first half. Wadsworth thought about it, decided to pass it up. Trying to go down the lane here, and that's going to be a jump ball possession here. We'll give it to Academy. Not really the ideal play right there. She pretty much threw it into triple coverage. Yeah, you know, if there's two people covering one player, that yeah. means somebody's obviously open. The Wolfpack hasn't done really well at looking to see who's open, who's been covered. They're still kind of flat-footed on offense, not really moving around, helping each other out much. Still for Wadsworth. She throws it up. Can't quite get it to go, but number 23, Toy is there, but she also can't get it to go in. And with 30 seconds left, you would think that the Academy would run a couple plays here and try to get a nice play before the end of the half. Full over the top of the key. Being directions from her coach. Williams now with the ball. 10 seconds left to go here. Stevens for three. That's short. And Wolfpack will like not to shoot the last shot. And at halftime, 23 to 18, Academy with the lead over the Wolfpack. And the Wolfpack got off to a nice start. Helped, yeah. Got to the driving a lot, got fouled a lot. But then towards the end there, they just weren't moving the ball, as you mentioned earlier in the half. And that gives them the five point deficit here going to halftime. Yeah, the Wolfpack hasn't been able to connect good, solid passes like the Combine Academy has been able to. They're, the Combine Academy also has been playing great defense against the Wolfpack. They've probably had at least seven or more steals in the first half, and they've been able to capitalize on some of them. The Wolfpack started off strong with, you know, all the, draining all the threes, but, you know, it hasn't really been working for them since then. 23-18, Wolfpack with the deficit, and we'll be back for the second half here. And we're back here for the second half between the Wolfpack and Academy. And Rachel, we saw a lot of stagnant play there by the Wolfpack. What do they need to do here in the second half? I mean, the offense just needs to spread out, use all areas up down here in the paint, and, all, and make good passes, spread out, move, and help each other out. And that's, hopefully that could translate into a win. Three goes in and out there for Lanier. Gonna be County's ball. Williams will bring it up here for the Academy. Coach telling them to move it over there. Scott for two. Can't get it to go. Full of with the rebound. Move it around again here. Scott looks to drive. She's rejected. Heckler now with the ball. Pushing it up. Lanier gets it taken away from her. It's going to stay down on this end, though, for the Wolfpack. Hegler will inbounds the ball. Trying to go down to Carlson. That's almost stolen. Lanier, good pass. But her shot is too strong. It's going to be Anderson with the ball, and she's fouled. So far, not a good start there for the Wolfpack. Has had some easy opportunities, but can't get anything to go down. Scott drives. She's fouled by Carlson. We'll go to the line shooting two. Let's 
Scott's first one is up. Too short. One more to come here. Second one is up for Scott. That one is too strong. It's going to be a rebound by Lavella. Olsen bringing out the ball. Good crossover to Hagler for three. No good. Rebound Lanier. She puts it up. Can't quite get it in with the bank. Rebound Hagler. Back to Lanier for another shot, and that one's good. Good offensive rebounds there by the Wolfpack, and 23-20. Academy still holds the lead. Williams for three. No good. Anderson with the offensive rebound. She's fouled. We'll be shooting two here. First one is up and right through. Carlson exits the game and Quo Wall will check in for. One more to go here for Anderson. Second free throw is up and that one is in and out. Rebound Wall. Ball out wide to Olsen. The linear. Hagler at the top of the key. So far, a little ball, better ball movement here in the second half. Yeah, they are moving around a lot better, trying to get open for the pass, and the passes have been a whole lot better than what the first half was. Good give and go there. Rejected by Scott. The wall is right there. That one's in and out. Rebound Anderson. And the costly mistakes continue here for the Wolfpack in the second half. Williams crosses over, drives, and got a little crazy there with the ball, and that's going to be a turnover. as he State's ball. Olsen calling a play. Hegler looking to pass it off the wall, but a little miscommunication there. Harvey's going to drive. He got to Williams. Williams with a jump shot. No good. Rebound by Lanier. Lanier looking to drive. Lanier for three. Too short. Good rebound there by Lavella. Now checked into the game. Olsen looks to drive. Lanier. That one's short once again. It's going to be a foul on Harvey, though. Because Lavella got hit in her arm. I think they're going to call it a shooting foul. It's really important for the Wolfpack to make their free throws right now to close the gap between them and the Combine Academy right now. First one is good there from Lavella. They really have missed on some great opportunities here in the second half. I mean, mm -hmm. a couple of the shots have been right, right there by the basket, but just too strong on them. Yeah, nothing's falling in for the Wolfpack. One more to go here for Lavella. Second one is up, and that one is through as well. 24-22, Academy still with the lead over the Wolfpack, but they're slowly but surely closing the margin. That's a three by Academy. That's no good. It was Thomas who was short on it. Wadsworth back. That one's in and out there for Lavella. A little unfortunate there. Rebound Thomas. I waited German. German for three. That one's too strong. Fight for the rebound. Lands to Davis. Davis. Little spin move, and she's fouled. It's gonna be another shooting foul. First one bounced a little bit for Davis, and doesn't go in. 
Second one for Davis is wide right. Really drains the rim there. Rebound Olsen. Olsen a Waz Wadsworth out over here. Right in front of your television screen. Good ball movement, and that's an air ball, though. Stevens with the block. Two wolf pack guarding her, but gets it out to Williams. Williams got three on three now. Back to Thomas. That was an air ball. Wadsworth now with the ball. Out to Olsen. Stolen by the Academy once again. Williams now. She's trying to drive and somehow gets it to roll in. 26-21 Academy. 12-15 to go here in the second half. Wadsworth to Olsen. Trying to get the ball down to Lavella, but she's guarded tightly by Stevens. Instead, we're going to have Wall with the jump shot, and that one's short. Williams looking to push. Fade away, and that one's good as well. 28-21, and now Academy with a little momentum here. Laying here with the jump shot. Short rebound wall. She's fouled, and she'll go for the She'll go to the charity strike. The Wolfpack are still playing a little flat-footed here. They're not trying to move around and get open for a pass. They start off well with the second half with a little spreading out. But yeah. as you just mentioned, late here in the last two to three minutes, it hasn't been the same. So they're going to try it out with the new substitutions. As Shotwell, Carlson, and Hegler come back to the game. Wall and Wadsworth will stay in for the Wolfpack. That one is good. And we're going to have 28-23 now. Anderson, Williams, Scott. Thomas and German in the game for Academy. Thomas for three. That one is way off. Rebound Scott. Back to Williams for three. That one is short. Gets her own rebound. That one is no good as well. Rebound Carlson. Out to Wadsworth. She's going to drive. Floater. And she's going to be called for the charge. Ten minutes to go here in the second half. 28-23 with Combine Academy with the lead over the Wolfpack. Williams will come out of the game as full love enters. Good ball movement. Thomas for three. That one's no good once again. Rebound Carlson. We're going to push, but stolen. By German. German to full of. Good cut there by Scott. Going to be foul. As Scott went to the ground. I think it's going to be a foul on Hegler, I believe. Actually, I think they're going to get number 23, Jenna Toy, with the foul. Get it bounced to Scott. Throws up an air ball, but it's going to be off Hegler. Remains Academy's ball. Good steal here by Shotwell, but she can't get to the ball quick enough. Will remain Academy's ball. Anderson for three, short, gets her on rebounds, put it back up, and one for Anderson. Should have a chance at the three-point play here. 30-23 here. To go 8-10 left here in the second half. Anderson's free throw is up. 
in its wide right. Rebound toy to Wadsworth. Shot well for three. That one's too strong. Hegler trying to tip it to Carlson, but not on the same communication there. It's going to be turnover. 7.45 left to go here, and Rachel, they're down seven. Yep, the Wolfpack, even though they brought in new subs, they're still just a little bit flat-footed. They're not making good decisions with their passes. They're trying to go really fast to catch the other team off guard, and it just hasn't worked for them quite yet. Turnover there by Academy. Wadsworth with the ball. And, man, another costly turnover there. It's just none of the players have been on the same page, and been turnover after turnover. And give Academy credit. They've taken advantage of it. Definitely. They have been able to steal numerous passes that the Wolfpack just either just lobs around or they're not making a smart decision with their pass, and they have made the Wolfpack pay for it. God thought she was fouled, but no call there to Wadsworth. Wadsworth for three, and still nothing to go there for State. And Anderson's fouled. A lot of sloppy play here by both teams in the last couple of minutes. It looks like Academy's going to be the bonus, so they'll be shooting one and one. Here, they'll have the opportunity to, to even extend their lead further. Anderson with the chance to get quick, easy two points. If she makes the first one, she'll get the second. First one is up, and it's right through Swish, so she'll get one more opportunity to extend this lead to nine. And the way that the Wolfpack's playing, I mean, I won't put it out of question, but you got to be a little worried. Yeah, I mean, ooh, might be a line violation there. <laughs> yeah, lane violation on, on Toy, which gives Anderson another chance to extend the lead to nine. Yeah, but back to your earlier statement. I mean, the Wolfpack has a chance. They were draining threes early in the first half, so who's to say they can't do that again? But with the way they've been playing and the way the ball hasn't been falling in their favor, I don't see it happening for them today. Going to be a foul and one as Anderson is fouled by Toy. Now a chance to even extend the lead to 11 now. And if I was the Wolfpack, I wouldn't want to be fouling Anderson right now. She's made the majority of her free throws. Yes. Definitely been solved from the strike mm -hmm. so far. And that one is through. 34-23, 4.30 to go here in the second half between the Combine Academy and the Wolfpack. And finally, shot goes down as Wadsworth puts it in. And that's a much needed three there. 34-26 now. Gonna need a lot more threes if they wanna come back in this game. German tries to answer, but she cannot. Quick outlet to Wadsworth, and that's a good, oh no. But looks like Hegler's there for the rebound and the put back, and it's 34-28 all of a sudden. A little momentum. We're gonna have a timeout by the Academy. And that's exactly what they needed to do right there. Yep, kill the Wolfpack's momentum while they're up on, on top of them with the momentum right now. 34-28, and now it's a more manageable lead to come back from. Still plenty of time, 347. And then once it gets down to the two-minute mark, as I mentioned, it's going to be a stopping clock, so that will also play in favor to the Wolfpack. So we're going to have inbounds for the Academy.
Davis will inbound the ball to Williams, who is back, checked back into the game. She's been the primary ball handler for the majority of this game. She's been very good today. Pulled up for three. That one's no good. Rebound Hegler. She's looking to push. She has Olsen to her left, and Olsen tries to go up, but she cannot complete the three-point play as she'll go to the line for two still. First one's up for Olsen, and that's a swish. 34-29 with a chance to cut it to four now. Scott and Thomas will check back to the game as German and Davis leave. One more shot here to get for Olsen. That one is another switch, and it's 34-30 all of a sudden. We'll pack with a little momentum. Zone here. 2-3 zone. Got out wide to Williams. Stevens for a quick two. That's in and out. Chance for the Wolfpack to push. Cut the lead even more. Walda. Wadsworth for three. That's too strong. Rebound Scott. Big rebound by Scott. Good crossover. She drives herself. Can't get it to go. Rebound Williams and she's fouled. And remember that the Academy is in the bonus here. Yep. Going to be now they're in the double bonus. So it's going to be two shot foul. We're down to two minutes here in the ball game. First one is good for Williams. One more to go here. These free throws, as we get closer to the end of the game, are going to be crucial for both teams. Second one is up, and that is also good. Two clutch free throws there by Williams. Wilson with a big crossover. Gonna out to Wadsworth for three. Short rebound wall. Wall goes up and is fouled. And she'll go to the line for two. A lot of fouling going on here in the last couple of minutes. Walls straight through. One more to go. 36 31. Second one is up, and that is true as well. Almost a steal there by Olsen. Williams still retains possession, however. Another reach in. It's going to be out of bounds on both pack. He was looking to drive. She's fouled. We'll go to the line for another two. Another swish. Been very good from the free throw line here in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, if I was the Wolf Pack, I wouldn't be want I wouldn't want to foul her. Or Anderson, they've been on fire from the free throw line today. And that one is good as, again, if it comes down to fouling, they're de she's definitely not one. Quick pass to Wall, and she can't get it to go. Rebound, Stevens. Scott with a, wow, it's going to be called a blocking foul. A little surprised about that as she looked like she digged in with her shoulder. but Yeah. Now that they're in the bonus, it's going to be two shots the rest of the way. 
So definitely don't want to be fouling here. Scott will held, head to the line now. One is up and good. 39-32 here. Combine Academy over the Wolfpack. 133 left to go here in the second half. Second one is up, and that rattles in as well. Wolfpack are going to have to go a little quick now. Down eight. Wadsworth to Olsen. To walk the top of key for three. That one's too strong. Rebound goes to Wadsworth for three. That one's too strong as well. Rebound Wadsworth once again, and she loses it. I think Thomas actually stepped out. North South still Wadsworth for three once again. That one's too strong. Rebound Thomas. This is a full love, and it's going to go back to Williams. And good idea there as she's been the good three, free throw shooter. She gets double teams, goes to Scott. Back to full love. Full love's jump shot is too short. Rebound Olsen. Olsen up to Hegler. Back to Wadsworth for three. That one is no good. Rebound Lavella. She can't get it to go. Williams now with the ball. Splits the two defenders. 35 left to go here. 40, 32. Academy. And Williams with a good easy two. You know, I like NC State's strategy of trying to shoot all threes at the can because obviously you get more points. But if they're not falling in, they ain't falling in. And as you mentioned that, yep. Hegler just goes in. <laughs> Her three goes in, but a little too late there. As 15 seconds to go here and Looks like the Wolfpack's not going to foul. The Academy will just be content and running out the clock here. But Scott goes through. She thought she got fouled, but she... No call for the ref. Wadsworth for the last second three, and that one isn't good. And that concludes our match. Combat Academy come out with a hard-fought win. 42-35 over the Wolfpack. And what's your game analysis? Well, the Wolfpack started off flat-footed and it translated to playing flat-footed the entire game. Their passes weren't on point. They were making poor decisions with the passes and the academy, you know, took, they took note of that and it capitalized on it. It had probably over t 10 steals the whole entire game. You know, they made their three throws as well did the Wolfpack. It just didn't translate into a W for them today. Definitely a sloppy game here for the Wolfpack. Thanks for tuning, every, tuning in, everybody. For Brett Galt, she's Rachel Queen for PAC-TV, bringing you into the pack.